so the first question that I want to ask you is what does this artwork mean to you? Like, what does this represent? Well, for the yin yang, it reminded me of like a white and black that kind of mixed together to make gray that makes it very well. It also reminded me of like two dragons who are separated, like two halves, and it became one whole. On your, when you're making your cyanotype, what natural materials did you I use? Did. And what I, made you decide to use those? I used a lot of tiny leaves. A right? lot of very tiny little leaves and some leaves that are like on little white stuff. Why did you decide to use so many tiny little leaves? Because then it can make a little connection with a circle in it. Plus <laughs> I used the wind a little to make a little shading in there. I love a little white shade in there to mix it up a little. Okay, so like the tiny leaves match the little circles that are inside your yin yang? Yeah. Okay. Add a little bit on the inside too. <laughs> nice. Um, so what patterns and symbols did you embroider into your cyanotype? Symbol that has the yin yang and it <laughs> represents two halves, but the bottom is a dragon I've been newborn. Can I show it? newborn baby dragon so you have a baby dragon and then you have your yin yang that represents two halves is there any other reasons you chose to use those symbols in the dragon in your cyanotype yeah it's mostly those two but also i had a little bit of green because it's a little bit of a summer time and i love the little summer the little leaves yeah for the leaves I don't, think, I don't know if you see them, but I'll try to bring them close a little. Can you tell us why you like dragons? Uh, the reason I like dragons because they're like flying dinosaurs. But <laughs> <laughs> flying dinosaurs are pretty cool. Okay, so I'm, the first question I'm going to ask you is what does your artwork mean to you? It's a tree with lots of birds in it, so it reminds me of life. Um, oh, that's nice. That's really cool. What, when you were making your cyanotype, what, um, what did you use on it? And what made you choose to use those materials? I used some, like, okay. Thin leaves, like you might find on a some kind of evergreen, maybe. Okay. Um, and I used that because I just thought it looked like different parts of a tree because I knew that was what I wanted to make. Did you use anything else? Um, I also used little, oh, um helicopter things that come from maple trees to um to look like birds and wind when you started embroidering or sketching for your cyanotype what patterns and symbols did you choose to put onto your cyanotype uh, a tree with birds and squirrels and a bird feeder you know, i wanted to make a tree but when it was just the cyanotype like the animals didn't kind of blur together with the branches of the tree so I used the embroidery to make like show the animal make the animals show up and nice and just have color <laughs> it's very creative So the first question is, what do you guys like about the design you made on your cyanotype? What I like about mine is I like have those little, little white stuff at the bottom where it kind of represents the dragon in it. Like a little, like a little glow effect from like an accent. Like that is really cool. Yeah, like around it. That is really cool. Does anyone else have anything they want to share about their cyanotype and what they like about it? I just wanted for a second to say to June that I think that's so cool. Did it help you choose where you added your dragon, June, because of that spotlight? 
Oh, yes, it did help me out. What a thoughtful idea. I, I like it. It reminds me of the tree right outside of my window. Oh, that yeah. is really, that's really nice. That's a nice connection that you made there. Um, what was your favorite part about this project throughout this whole experience? What have you guys enjoyed the most? Favorite part is like how I got to do a little sketch in part. I got to do a little sketch. Oh, you like to draw it in? Yeah, I like to draw it in. Nice. I really enjoy getting to see everybody's different ideas um, and seeing how like everybody chose something different from nature that they liked and are drawn to and seeing how they use those. Mm -hmm. That is, de it definitely is really cool to see everyone's different takes and connections that they're making for sure. I've really enjoyed just getting to slow down and make art together and get to know new people while we made art. And it was so fun on the first day being together outside and then even though we were on Zoom, this still felt like we were making art together, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Especially when you're in a knitting circle. <laughs> we're currently in a knitting circle. <laughs> yes, we're literally in a circle right now with the circle. <laughs> like, why am I doing that? Okay, I'm going to go to our last question that we have because this one's really important to us. How can we find meaning in nature? Does anyone have any examples of how we can do that? Uh, we could probably find a meaning in nature by taking a look at a leaf and then you see the meaning of what life it is. It really just means something. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain? Explain that to me more, June. Like how you can look at a leaf and find meaning in that. Like if you take like a microscope and you like cut a leaf a little, you kind of see like a little living stuff inside. Like how like trees are living, mm -hmm. and we're living. So we're kind <laughs> of nature. We are kind of nature. That's a really good point. Yeah. And we're all mammals, so we're kind of more of an animal type. But the only thing that can separate us from animals is our thumbs. Because they're they are cool. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really hard to embroider without thumbs. Mm -hmm. Nature that hasn't been said yet. Um, I feel like we we're all kind of connected through nature, so it's a place where we all we all have to go, and like even with anim the animals in our world, like we all really share the the planet and. Um, so when you go outside and look around you can really see like oh like what i do matters um like I, I can make an impact or i can make a difference if i do things a certain way or if i don't litter and things like that mm -hmm. that's a great point um, sort of similar to what michael said um, when i think of like being nature um, i like to meditate out in the grass um, when I'm home, especially over the summer, um, it feels like, especially when you sit on the outside and like you really sit on the ground, it's like you're grounding yourself instead of like recharging and like taking a step back from like there's so much going on in your life. It's really nice to just like sort of reboot yourself through that. Yes, it's very good for you. So it's almost like you find like peace in nature and it's calm and that's like where kind of like that. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I can like not become as overwhelmed. If I'm really overwhelmed, I can like, go out into nature and just kind of de-escalate de myself. It's finally get to have some peace. For sure. From all the people that ignore you. <laughs> when, when Michael was talking, it made me think about how when we were in our breakout room with Naomi, we were all sharing experiences with nature. And when one person would share, other people would be like, oh, I really like those things too, or I did this thing with that before. And so I think it also helps us like um, get to know other people and find similarities with other people's lives. And it's interesting how like the tiny seeds from trees can get so huge. Mm -hmm. 
and even how they're designed to travel so far like that helicopter um how it can take its life into its own hands and plant itself somewhere where the wind blows it yeah <laughs> I was told that the reason that we have so many random trees pop up is because when squirrels take like little nuts and like store them somewhere, they forget about them. So that's something that starts new trees to start growing everywhere. And I, I thought that was just really cool when I learned that. <laughs> We're so grateful that you chose to participate in Side by Side with us. It has been a lot of fun and you have made some really incredible things. We can't wait to see your finished work and to celebrate it in the exhibition. We hope you do cool things with the artists that you're gonna work with. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.